my name is Mara Vaknin. I'm currently an 11th grade student at Dreyfus School of the Arts. I'm going to be pitching to the philanthropists my project called Alive with Music. It's really important that Alzheimer's patients are able to stay connected with their families, with the people around them, and I love being able to give them the opportunity to restore their memory as much as possible through music therapy. Hi, I'm Mariel Sabat. I'm Christina Lindner. Thomas Carter. We're Art for the Soul, a volunteer-based program, including music and the visual arts, tutors who speak both English and Spanish. We also feel that one of the most important things is that it's a kids teach kids program, so that the kids feel more comfortable around us than they would around adults. Art for the Soul started off as a really small program. Over time, we started expanding it, and we want to expand it even more. We are the Mayan girls. We work in the Guatemalan Maya Center in Lake Worth. We all want to help our indigenous people, our family, our friends. Many people assume that coming from a Spanish country, they should know Spanish and English. Many indigenous people over there just speak their ancient language. We want for them to be able to understand what is going on around the world, what is going on within this country, and we want them to feel as comfortable as possible. Hi, I'm Alex Schneider. Ever since I was little, I can remember myself playing soccer. I found that there was a huge need for um, soccer balls and soccer cleats, and this is why I started Alex's Free Kicks. Soccer has been a safe place in my life. The end of each soccer season, I ask for balls and cleats or whatever they can give. I'm working with Boys and Girls Club of Wellington and gave the equipment to them. It opened my eyes that people don't have what I am fortunate enough to have, and I'm looking to put locations throughout Palm Beach County. My name is Sophia Lloyd George, and I'm a current junior at Oxbridge Academy. My inspiration for beginning code autism is actually um, due to my older brother, Robert who's severely disabled. The majority of my life I've been volunteering with autistic and handicapped individuals, which has truly opened my eyes to the fact that they are not exposed to enough computing programs. Coding is the language of the future and will only continue to be more essential to understand. An absolutely inspiring experience working with autistic children. My name is Wendy Garcia. I'm Andrea Castillo. Harry Castillo. Our project is STEM Lab. It's an after-school program designed to provide mentorship to low-performing children. Children in the Latino community are underrepresented and we have tried to make our main focus them. I have family members who come from other countries. They struggle with their English and they don't catch up with the lessons in classrooms to the point where they just get a job and just drop out of school. STEM Lab has operated for about a year now. We teach over 10 subjects, including engineering, robotics, and technology.